Hello friends. Now in this segment, we will see another example of finding the Fourier series coefficient. Now as far as my previous uh, video in which we have seen one example of the same case where we are finding Fourier series coefficients, the only difference in these two examples are in the previous case the frequency component omega naught was given in the example. Now in this case if you see we have a term as 1 which is dc sine function and a cosine function but here they haven't mentioned the frequency component. So as far as such kind of examples are considered when we are solving such kind of examples let us treat this as the first function which is x1 t as sine 3 pi t. Now if I compare this particular function with standard form as I can write compare with sin omega 1 t. Now here I am considering omega 1 because the function we are treating as what x1. Hence I am putting it as omega 1. Now when we compare this term I can get omega 1 is equals to 3 pi. And from that we can find its time period as 2 pi t1 or 2 pi by t1 is equals to 3 pi. So here this term will get cancelled. We will get the first period as t1 is equals to 2 upon 3. Similarly, I am considering this as second function which is x 2 t as cos 4 pi t. We can compare this with standard form as cos omega 2 t. Now if you want to know further information about how to find time periods you can refer my earlier videos. We will get omega 2 as 4 pi. Similarly this is 2 pi by t2 is equals to 4 pi. This will get cancelled this is and we will get t2 as 1 upon 2. Now once you got t1 and t2 we will try to find the total time period of the function x of t. Now in this case as you know the total time period should be a rational number so I can put it here as it is a ratio of t1 by t2 which is equals to 2 by 3 upon 1 by 2. So this will go over here and we will get this term as 4 by 3. Now once you got this 4 by 3 I can rearrange this term here I am writing it as t is equals to t1 by t2 which is equals to 4 by 3. So these terms can be multiplied with each other and I can write the same term 3 into t1 is equals to 4 times t2. Now we know the values of t1 as well as t2. If I put those values here I can get the total time period as 3 into 2 by 3 is equals to 4 into 1 by 2. So in both the cases this 3 3 will get cancelled this 2 2 is of 4 our answer will be 2 that means the overall fundamental period becomes 2 seconds. If it is there now I can find omega naught is equals to 2 pi by t which is 2 pi by 2 this this will get cancelled and our fundamental frequency is now pi. Sure we got omega naught is equals to pi. So based on that I can get this term as x of t is equals to 1 plus sin of this 3 as it is and instead of pi we can put this value as omega naught t. Similarly plus cos 4 omega naught t. So this is the standard form of representing signal in terms of its frequency component. Now we got this term in terms of omega naught. Now we will proceed in the same way as we had did in earlier example. I am trying to represent this in entire terms in the form of exponential as 1 plus e raised to j 3 omega naught t minus e raised to minus j 3 omega naught t upon 2 j plus cos e raised to j 4 omega naught t plus e raised to minus j 4 omega naught t divided by 2. 
now we'll simplify this term so i can write this as 1 plus 1 by 2j e raised to j 3 omega naught t minus 1 by 2j this term as it is plus 1 by 2 So this is going to be distribution of the function. Now if I consider this as equation number 1, I can compare this with standard form of Fourier series representation which is summation a k into e raised to j k omega naught t. This is I am putting it as equation number 2. Now if you compare both these equations, the first term is 1 definitely it is going to be our constant term so we can put it as a naught as 1 similarly we can proceed further this is plus 3 that means this coefficient is going to be a plus 3 as 1 upon 2j this is minus 3 here it is minus 3 so this term becomes a minus 3 which is 1 by 2j similarly here it is multiplied with 4 so this coefficient will be fourth term as a4 1 by 2 this is multiplied with minus 4 so this is a minus 4 as again 1 by 2 and remaining all terms are going to be 0 so in this way you can find the Fourier series coefficient of any signal which is given in a form like this one I hope you understood this concept now if it is asked to find Fourier series coefficient of any signal, you should able to find it in a proper way. Thank you.